Hello, I'm Irene Belmonte and I work in the Liber Pathology Unit in Valdebron Hospital in Spain. I'd like to show you a brief overview of our article entitled Application of a Diagnostic Algorithm for the Rare Deficient Variant M. Malton of Alpha 1 Antitrypsin Deficiency, a new approach. Alpha 1 Antitrypsin Deficiency is associated with a high risk for the development of early onset emphysema and liver disease. The most common normal alpha-1 LA is the M variant, and the most frequent deficient variants in concussion population are Z and S, which can be easily detected. Another deficient variant, called M malton, is considered to be the second cause of severe alpha-1 deficiency in Spain. However, this variant is not recognizable by usual diagnostic techniques. For this reason, we have recently developed a rapid real-time PCR and melting curves assay for the detection of the M. Malton allele. We have included in the diagnostic algorithm of alpha-1 deficiency as follows. Alpha-1 levels are determined and samples with these levels below the established cutoff are characterized by phenotyping. The M. Malton LA specific genotyping assay is applied in samples which show one or two M alleles and discordant alpha 1 levels. In case of discrepancy, samples are analyzed by sequencing of the gene. The aim of this study was to test the utility of this new algorithm for M. Malton detection. So we perform a retrospective revision of all alpha-1 deficiency determinations carried out in our lab over two years using this new algorithm. We detected 49 samples with one or two M alleles and alpha-1 levels discordant with that phenotype. So all of these samples were analyzed with the M. Malton allele specific genotyping assay. In nine of these samples, the M. Malton variant was detected. 8 M. M. Malton and 1 S. M. Malton. Two family screenings were performed and four additional M. Malton variants were detected. 3 M. M. Malton and 1 S. M. Malton. The incorporation of the M. Malton allele specific genotyping assay in the diagnostic algorithm of alpha 1 deficiency could allow the clinical characterization of M. Malton individuals who, to date, are not well characterized. Our results show the strong need to develop standardized algorithms to obtain the conclusive data of the real incidence of rare alpha-1 variants in each country or region. Thank you for your attention and thanks to my colleagues and authors of this work.